Would you like your conversational assistant to not only be better at selecting the correct reply, but also be smaller and faster and cheaper to train? If so, Convert might be a good thing for you to try. Today we're going to talk about what Convert is, how it works, and some common errors and problems you might run into while implementing it in NLP for Developers. Convert is a new model proposed in 2019 by Henderson and co-authors that is small, fast, and accurate, and a way of representing turns in a conversation as a numerical and vector. The specific task that Convert is designed to accomplish is called response selection. So the idea is you have a number of responses that you have provided for your assistant to use, and given a user input, you select the correct response. So given the user input, what is Raza open source, the correct response to select would be an open source toolkit for building virtual assistants. The way that Convert does this is that for every pair of input and possible response, a similarity score is calculated. So to use our example from before, each output has a similarity score to the input, and the one with the highest similarity score in this case is the correct output, an open source toolkit for building virtual assistants. How does Convert learn these scores? Convert was trained on a Reddit corpus, which is available on the PolyAI GitHub, with 3.7 billion total turns in English. Uh, and this means that you have a supervised learning paradigm. So for a given input, we know the correct output, and we can also sample a variety of other possible responses, and then can calculate the similarity scores between them, and over time learn to maximize the similarity scores between the input and the correct response, and minimize the similarity scores between the input and incorrect responses. The main contribution of Convert is lots of small improvements that make the model smaller and faster to train. One improvement is subword tokenization, so instead of looking at full words, you look at parts of words. In addition, unlike other transformer models that have multi-headed attention throughout, Convert only has multi-headed attention at the very last layer, and the rest of the layers only have single-headed attention, which dramatically reduces the number of parameters. Also, each of those parameters is quantized, so instead of taking 32 bits, the embedding parameters, for example, only take 8 bits each, which is a big space savings. When compared to other similar models, Convert is much smaller. So BERT Base, for example, is the next smallest model, and Convert is still half of the size. In addition, because there are far fewer parameters in Convert, it takes much less time and money to train. So the total compute cost for training the Convert model was only 85 US dollars, as opposed to an estimated $500 for BERT Base. In addition to being small and fast to train, Convert also has the additional benefit of performing really well. So compared to other models, including BERT, Universal Sentence Encodings, ELMO, uh, and an earlier model by the same research team, PolyAI Dual, Convert was more likely to correctly select the correct response out of 100 possible responses. Why is this? The authors hypothesize that it's due to the fact that Convert was trained both with conversational data and also because it was trained on this conversational task, as opposed to more general language models, which are trained on a guess the next word or fill in the blank. The two applications of Convert discussed in the original paper that proposes it are response selection, which we've discussed, and intent classification, or taking in user input and assigning it to a number of predetermined categories. In Raza, we use it as a featureizer, so a way to take in the text input that a user provides or your intents or your responses that you've provided and convert that into a numeric feature that you can use in the rest of your pipeline. What are the benefits of Convert? We've discussed most of these already, but it's small, especially compared to large language models. It is cheap to train, and therefore you can retrain it more easily and do more hyperparameter tuning for the same amount of compute budget than you could with a much larger model. And it seems to perform better, specifically at conversational tasks such as response selection. Finally, if you are using Raza open source, it is easy to use because we've already implemented it and included it in the distribution for you. There are some drawbacks, however. Probably the biggest one is that it's only currently available for English as a pre-trained model. If you're working with a different language, you'll need to do your own training. This is also complicated by the fact that it uses a custom tokenizer. That means that you're going to need to develop your own tokenizer if you want to train this model in a different language. Finally, there are the biases inherent in Reddit data. Although Reddit does include discussions of a large range of topics, it may or may not include discussions of the specific topics that you're interested in for your assistant. So what are some common errors? A big one is not using the correct tokenizer. 
Convert uses a custom subword tokenizer that was used during training the model, and if you don't use the same one at inference time, it's not going to work. Another common error is running out of slots for custom vocabulary items. The model as proposed in the paper has space for 1,000 out of vocabulary items. If you have more than that, you're going to run into some memory errors. Finally, if you're working on Windows, you're going to run into trouble installing Convert because it relies on TensorFlow text, which currently does not have a supported Windows binary. That might be fixed in the future, but something to watch out for. If you're looking for more resources, the original paper where the model is proposed is a good place to start. And if you're wondering how to use it on Raza, check out this blog post that outlines the process. I've got links to both of them in the description below. Thanks so much for joining me today in NLP for Developers. I hope you found this helpful and that you can find a place to use Convert in your own work.